Hey guys, so long time no see. With all the time that's passed, I definitely have a story for you. Last week, our senior class took the annual trip to Washington, D.C. Woohoo! Well, we've been waiting for this trip for four whole years, it was over in four very busy days. My friends and I had a fantastic time, filled with historical significance, a lot of excitement, and definitely drama. But of course, with my luck, something had to go wrong. On the third day into our trip, we went to Arlington Cemetery. We had walked about a mile away from the main entrance to go to the Tomb of the Unknown Soldier. It was there that we took a tour and we saw the changing of the guard. But it was when we were leaving that everything went horribly wrong. I was walking down the steps and turned around to talk to one of my best friends and didn't realize that my foot was only half on part of the step. And when I continued to walk down, my ankle completely rolled over and I tumbled down the stairs. But my embarrassment was the least of my worries. When I went to stand up, I heard something in my ankle pop and felt searing pain. A couple of my friends helped me sit down and someone ran to get a teacher. While we were waiting there, our vice principal ran all the way down to one of the main houses to see what they could do for me. He told the people there what happened and asked if we could get a golf cart so they could bring me down to the buses. But they said, No, that would be a liability. You can't do that. You should probably call an ambulance. So they called 911 for us. About 20 minutes later, when all of my friends were filing down to the buses and I was stuck at the top of Arlington Cemetery, Two fire trucks, a police car, and an ambulance came for me. Sirens ablazing. I was loaded into the stretcher and taken to Virginia Hospital, which is about 15 minutes away from Arlington. The ride to the hospital was short, but uncomfortable. I tried to make small talk with the EMT and my vice principal, who I didn't know very well, while strapped to a stretcher against my will. My ankle was throbbing by that time, and I was trying so hard not to burst into tears to further my embarrassment. While at the hospital, the doctors ran x-rays and I had to call my mom, which was one of the funniest conversations. It kind of went like this. Hey mom. Oh hi sweetie, I wasn't expecting to talk to you until later. Yes, but before you freak out, let me explain. What happened? I'm at the hospital in Virginia and well- I am picking you up right now, mom, I will be no, there in six down, hours, listen, sit tight, and listen. give the phone to your vice principal. I'm I can't okay. believe this happened. Are you okay? What's wrong? Is it broken? I told you I, I'm coming, I'm, I'm driving down right now, I'm getting in the car. So after my mom stopped freaking out and I got off the phone with her, the doctors confirmed that my ankle was sprained and a couple of my ligaments were stretched and torn. Wonderful. Thankfully, my mom calmed down enough and I was able to experience the rest of the trip without her driving her car all the way down to DC and take care of me. My fate for the next day and a half was in the hands of crutches and a wheelchair. My best friend Claire definitely was by my side the whole entire time taking care of me. Most of the places we went had a wheelchair that I could use, like the National Zoo. And even when we went on the dinner boat cruise, I was able to get around easily. I always knew I had bad luck and I was definitely a klutz, but I never imagined something this scale would have happened to me on my senior trip, of course. Everyone has pictures and videos to remember it forever, but I definitely know that this is something I'll never forget. But I also realized how grateful I am to have such a great group of friends who can keep me positive and take care of me. I also learned that there are thousands of cripple jokes that could be made on a six to eight hour bus ride home. Everyone kept asking me if this was my trip from hell, but I definitely don't think it was the worst trip of my life, because even though this happened and it was definitely painful, I still had a great time with everyone. So hopefully next time I talk to you guys, I will not be on crutches. Thanks for watching. Bye!